Now to the latest on that ongoing trucker protest in Canada's capital of Ottawa and at border crossings on the American border. The Biden administration is urging Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to use federal powers to end the blockade, whatever that may mean. That pressure coming as groups, including the Chamber of Commerce, calling for a resolution on the matter, saying the disruptions are adding to the significant supply chain strains of manufacturers and other businesses in the U.S. Protests forcing automakers like Ford to seek alternatives to get parts over the border, including looking at flying parts in. Christina Partsadevalos is on the scene and has more. Christina, what's going on this morning? Well, Brian, it's a crucial trade link blocked by protesters for the fifth day. You have exits like this one here in Detroit blocking all incoming and outgoing traffic trying to leave the country. And you have trucks that make at least or thousands of trips on the Ambassador Bridge each day, transporting over $300 million worth of goods. And it's not just this bridge. There's actually three bridges closed on the U.S.-Canada border right now, Indiana, North Dakota, and of course here in Michigan. And so the impact is certainly being felt. Listen in. My truck is not as full today, actually for the last three days, as it is like before this all took place. Um, I was full coming back every day. The blockade shows the auto industry's reliance on these bridges for their supply chains. Listen in. Time is ticking. Every hour that goes by is costing us over 13.5 million in trade and irreparable damage to our reputation as a reliable trading partner. Trade has played a vital role in building this region and the country's economy, and it has taken decades and decades of hard work. We are at a high risk now of losing it all. And losses are certainly being felt. So you, like you mentioned, you have auto manufacturers that are scaling back. More specifically, GM has scaled back three shifts just in Lansing, Michigan alone. Um, and they've even had to charter a cargo plane to get the missing parts that are stuck at the border on the other side of this bridge. Then you have uh, a Honda, for example. They have two plants, one specifically in Oakville, Ontario. Uh, they make the Civic as well as the CRV SUV. And they have had issues. You've had Ford that's had to scale back. You're feeling it all the way in Kentucky. The Toyota Motor Manufacturing has said that they've had issues getting parts affecting certain models like the RAV4, the Camry, the Lexus. The list continues. And according to the Anderson Economic Group right now, they're estimating $51 million in lost wages just this week alone. This bridge is huge. It accounts for 25% of all trade between Canada and the United States. And when you have so many auto manufacturers that are involved with just-in-time supplies, when the good doesn't arrive just in time, as we're seeing this week, you have issues. Uh, officials on the Canadian side have filed an injunction, but unfortunately the judge has delayed that hearing until at least noon today. So the protests continue. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.